Hello guys, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I am the faculty and a solution architect for service now. In today's session, we are going to learn formatters. Basically, ServiceNow platform is going to offer different type of formatters. Before we start work with any specific formatter, first of all, you should know about what is formatter. Formatter is a form element which is going to display some information which is not available on the form. Now let me show you practically how do we configure new formatter. Before we create new formatter, first of all, you should understand about existing formatter, how it does working for service now. Let's get start. Navigate to my instance, go to incident application, click on create new. Basically, there are different formatters are available in service now, like process flow formatter, second one, activity filter formatter, third one, contextual search result formatter, fourth one, breadcrumb formatter, fifth one, CA relationship formatter and two more formatters are there. Now we are going to discuss about process flow formatter. What is process flow formatter? Process flow formatter is not available for incident application. See, it is not showing on top of the form, right? If you navigate to problem application, click on create new, you can see process flow formatter in your problem application. This is called process flow formatter. Same formatter has already implemented for change management application also. But when we comes to incident application, it is not there. In this case, how do we configure process flow formatter for incident table? For example, if you want to remove this process flow formatter for problem table, it's very simple. Go to form design. If you want to switch it to the problem application, you can switch directly the problem application, select problem application. You can remove process flow formatter for problem table and you can save it back to UI and reload the form. Now you can't see process flow formatter for problem table because just I have removed. When you want to add same formatter to your problem application, again back to form design and go to formatters. Total six formatters are available by default. When you want to add this same formatter to your problem application, first you can create section. This section can split into single column layout. Add your process flow formatter to your section. This center section, if you want to move on top of the form, just you can keep the cursor left side of the section and drop over here and save it out. I have successfully added process flow formatter for problem table. Reload the form once again. But when you want to add same formatter to incident table, how can you add it? Back to incident application or incident table and formatters. So process flow formatter is not available for incident table. If it is available, we know how to add it. If it is not available, first of all, we have to create new process flow formatter for incident table. How do we create new formatter for incident table? This is pretty much simple. Let me show you that. Go to filter navigator and you type process flow which is available under system UI. Click on process flow. This is all about predefined flow formatter records. If you want to create a new flow record, just click on new button and create new process flow formatter. I'm creating new process flow formatter for which table? The table we have to choose first, the table is incident. Then, I am creating first flow record for incident table. That's why we can pass order number 100. What is the importance of order number? Once again, we can discuss more on it. And based on the condition made, the state will be highlighting in service to incident form, right? 
if instant state is in new then new box will be highlight so click on submit so when we submit the record process flow formatter automatically created for the table incident so after creation of new formatter for any table first of all we have to add it your form how can we add go to the same application incident and reload the browser if you want to add process flow formatter to incident form now it is came right first to create a section this section can split into single column layout add your process flow formatter to your new section then the entire section should be display on top of the form save it out back to ui navigate incident table click on create new now you can see process flow formatter but in this moment it is showing only one state but what about remaining state remaining states are not displaying over here how do we configure remaining flow records total six states are here right similarly you can create remaining flow records also for each state go to process flow click on process flow module and click on new button and you can choose the table can we create all flow records in single shot no each flow record we have to create manually i'm creating second flow record that's why i'm passing order number 200 if current incident state is in progress then in progress box should be highlighted and submit similarly you can create remaining also table incident and a name on hold and a label also same order number 300 if current record state is on hold then on hold box should be highlighted similarly we can create remaining also table incident and a name resolved order number 400 if state is resolved then resolved box should be highlighted and table incident name is closed label also same order number 500 if current record state is closed then closed box will be highlighted and create one more flow record it is last but not least table is incident and last state is cancel label also same order number 600 and if current record state is cancel then cancel button should be highlight like a box should be highlight so once again back to incident application and check it out click on create new now you can see all the states over here so what is the use case of this process flow formatter process flow formatter will be highlighting the current record state the current record state is in new that's why new box is highlighting and in case if you open any other record also for example let me open resolve ticket the current record state is resolved then the resolved box will be highlighting clear guys so this is about the process flow formatter so why i have taken the gap in between one order to another order so why i am providing 100 200 300 suppose if you want to create one more state in state field yes we can create right click on the label 
go to config choice create new choice call pending and add it a pending state should be display under pending and then let me create one more state call working in progress all right this state also i want display after pending i want to create two more states right so in this case we have to create two more flow records right so let me create two more flow records go to process flow click on process flow and here table you can select incident and suppose if you want to provide the order number we need to follow the previous order right but here if you provide the order number like a 1 2 3 4 system not allowing to follow the decimal number like a suppose if you want to show at a fourth place we have to provide the order number 4.1.4 something right that decimal number is not accepting that's why we have to take the gap between one order to another order so this will be show the state is pending and pending and if state if current record state is pending then pending state should be highlighted go to instant table click on create new so now you can see the pending state also this is about process flow formatter similarly we have few more formatters also if you want to explore more about the formatters please go through product documentation or another videos about formatters thanks for watching my video have a great day